definition of design, I think it's to impose one's will on a material through some process to perform a function. In the Bauhaus period, they thought that a, a good door handle can improve the world. We know it cannot improve the world. You know, there'll still be slavery and there'll be... When you have nothing to eat, all you want is something to eat. When you have plenty of things to eat, you think of cooking, of spices, and how will I do it, and you look at cookbooks, and... But when you have nowhere to live, any shelter would do, any cave would do. But when you have somewhere to live, and then you'll... Ooh, how does it look? I mean, like, ooh. And it is, if you are sinking in the water, you shout, help! But if you are not sinking in the water, you can write, help me if you can, I'm feeling down, and you can make rhymes. Culture, design included, is surplus to requirement. It begins where all the basic requirements are ful fulfilled. So, uh, for me, to design is to do something that didn't exist before I designed it. Eames once said, Charles Eames, only use innovation as a last resort. Great sentence. Innovation, it depends how you use it. I mean, like the, the atom bomb was an innovation. Not a very good one, but some atom energy, atomic energy was good. So innovation is, depends how it's used. That in the 50s, it was very easy for people, I mentioned Charles Eames, so I can see Prouvé here, to come to rebel against the, uh, the salon's furniture and to do their things. You know, the break was more drastic. It was very easy to renew. It's true that in our generation, it takes more to do something that's worth doing after Sarinen and Eames and uh, Joe Ponti and Jakobson and all these people. But it's, that's, the, that's the beauty of it, that yes, there's still room to do things that are genuinely new. I mean, we have a life and we have to, you know, we are born in point A and die at point B, and we have to, after we've eaten, after we are protected, we have to entertain ourselves, we have to delight, we have to read poetry, we have to listen to music, and also look at design and stuff like that. I do things out of curiosity, like what happens if I do this? What happens if I don't do this? What happens if I do a bicycle that doesn't have wheels? And I'm excited by, by uh, fulfilling my curiosity. And if I'm lucky, my curiosity is shared with other people. But in order to keep on having a life where I don't have to get a job, but to continue doing what I like to do, which is fulfill my curiosity and break my boredom and make sketches and, and talk about it and then I'm lucky. I don't, I, I'm in awe to the world. I don't think the world should be in awe to me.